Chapter 113. Past the Red Line. 1. He could obtain 80 spirit stones from killing the enemy leader. One could even imagine that he would gain a lot of contribution points. If Su Ching hadn't met this enemy leader and didn't fight with him, it would have been fine. However, he had already seriously injured the other party. Just when he was about to go for the finishing blow, the Murphic youth attacked him to snatch the credit. This matter caused killing intent to fill Su King's eyes. However, it was too late to give chase now. Moreover, the large blue hand formed by the talisman was also whistling over from behind him. Seeing that the Murphic youth was about to succeed, Su Ching instantly performed a series of hand seals. Immediately, a large number of water droplets appeared beside the Murphic youth, forming a gigantic jellyfish that whistled through the air. Teddy tricks, the Murfolk youth sneered. He didn't stop in the slightest, and a light flashed outside his body, forming a layer of defense. The jellyfish got close and bombarded it, but the defense was so strong that the jellyfish collapsed upon itself. However, he had clearly underestimated Su King's jellyfish. As it collapsed, the jellyfish's body transformed into countless water droplets, but they didn't dissipate. Instead, they rapidly gathered and formed a large net enveloping the Murphic youth and pinning him in place. The Murphic youth frowned. He couldn't help but slow down for a moment, which caused him to miss. The chance to grab the enemy leader, allowing the latter to escape more than 30 feet away. Su Ching took advantage of this opportunity and charged out fiercely. He didn't dodge the large hand that whistled over from behind at all, allowing the large hand transformed from the talisman to attack him. There was a loud boom. Su King's blood gushed out, but with the help of the impact from this large hand, his speed was further boosted, and he charged out even faster. In the blink of an eye, he surpassed the Murphic youth, turning into an off image as he charged toward the enemy leader. The instant he got close, he quickly lifted his right hand, and the black iron stick gleamed coldly. However, at this moment, the Murphic youth broke free of his bindings. His eyes gleamed with a cold light, and the corners of his lips curled into a cold smile. With a wave of his hand, the sharp-edged flying wheel that had flown toward Su Ching earlier, moved toward the enemy leader with shocking speed. It was about to reach. At the critical moment, the black iron stick turned into a black light and moved even faster. Like a bolt of black lightning, it pierced through the back of the enemy leader's head before the flying wheel could reach it, revealing its tip that had broken out of the enemy's forehead. As a shrill cry rang out, the flying wheel whistled through the air and sliced open the enemy leader's neck, causing the head to fly into the air. Fresh blood gushed out, Zuking didn't bother with the flying wheel and didn't slow down at all. He leapt over and grabbed the enemy leader's head before stopping. He then coldly looked at the young Murphic whose expression was incomparably ugly. Who do you think you are? How dare you steal my credit? Before Su Ching could speak, the Murphic youth gritted his teeth and spoke. The killing intent in his eyes was extremely intense. He lifted his hand and caught the sharp edged flying wheel that had flown back. His entire body was filled with killing intent, and his green eyes revealed a sinister look as he walked toward Su Ching step by step. Su Ching, who was holding the head of the enemy leader, similarly had killing intent in his eyes. He didn't speak, but he was already prepared to attack. He even secretly crushed a poison pill and scattered it with the wind. At the same time, the shadow under his feet quietly and quickly spread to the front of the other party. This Murfuk only needed to take another step forward and he would step on the shadow. Once he stepped in, the shadow would immediately erupt forth, and Su Ching would attack as well. He was confident that he could kill the other party in an extremely short period of time. However, just as this Murfuk youth lifted his right foe and was about to land, just as the killing intent in Su King's eyes was about to erupt, a cold laugh rang out from the fog. Who the hell do you think you are? How dare you try to steal my Team Six's credit? As his voice echoed, the figure of the captain of Team Six, who was eating an apple, walked out of the fog. He ate while walking, and behind him were some of the members of Team Six. There were four people missing, and the remaining people were all holding human heads in their hands. Their aura was very aggressive. This was especially so for the captain. The stench of blood on his body was extremely strong, and the cold glint in his eyes seemed to be able to materialize, causing the surrounding air to freeze. The Murphic youth's body paused, but his footsteps didn't stop. 
Instead, he returned to his original position and turned to look at the members of Team 6. After a few breaths of silence, the members of Team 3 also rushed over one after another. The atmosphere on both sides was very tense. This Murphic youth sneered and turned his head to coldly glance at Su Ching. His killing intent was still there. You managed to stay alive for now, but he'll remember this. With that, he flicked his sleeve and left with his men. Su King's gaze was reserved as he stood there with a calm expression. He didn't speak. Not bad. After the Murphic youth left, the captain of Team 6 smiled and walked to Su King's side. He circled around him and looked at the human head in his hand and spoke with a smile. He passed an apple to Su Ching. Here, my treat. Su Ching took it with his left hand and took a bite. The taste was sweet, but there was an additional taste of blood. After Su Ching swallowed it, he lifted his head and glanced in the direction the Murphic youth had left in. At this moment, the members of Team 6 were all excited. The captain killed an enemy leader, and Su Ching killed one as well. We're going to be rich this time. With 20 spirit coins as the minimum amount. Ha ha, this is worth it. Su Ching, we've already collected the heads of those you killed. The knight of cultivators you killed are very easy to identify. The ones whose necks were slit are yours. The teammates, who were usually cold to each other, were sincerely happy today. The feeling of being a team made the captain very satisfied. He waved his hand as if he had forgotten about the few people who had died.